Hello there, my name's David Charles, International Psychic Medium, coming to you from beautiful North Devon in the UK. This evening, this early evening, I'm doing a reading for you entitled Love and Lucky Numbers. And it's about your love life, and I'm going to give you some lucky numbers. Lucky numbers that could change your life forever, so stay with me. Before I do that, I want to thank you all to have subscribed to me. I have, I think, around 12,000 subscribers now. From all over the world, I thank you so much. I've had just under half a million hits in the last four or five months, and I'm getting about 5,000 hits a day on the channel now, so thank you for supporting me. And if you want to join our lovely group, please subscribe. Click the bell icon and you'll be notified every time I upload new videos, which is normally once a week, but uh, with the COVID thing that's been delayed recently. But um, what I want to do today is give you some love readings. It's a pick a card reading. There'll be four decks to choose from. And each deck comes with six lucky numbers, lucky numbers that could change your life forever. You could use them for birthdays, the day you want to get married, or for gambling, or casinos, or lotteries, that sort of thing. Uh, but of course, if you gamble with my lucky numbers, please do so responsibly. Now, these have been shuffled, so let's take a look at four decks. One, two, three, four. These are tarot cards, of course, if you haven't uh, done this before. A lot, I know a lot of you have. And thank you so much for tuning in. And let's find out what the word is on your love life. So I've given it the title Love and, lo and Lucky Numbers because we can't keep doing the same titles like What's He Thinking About Me Forever? and Because that's what people like, but you can get too involved with the same thing if you're not careful. So let's call these one, two, three, and four. One, two, three, and four. If you like to pick one, two, three, or four, one of them may stand out to you, one may look nice. Uh, you may use your intuition, your your psychic side to pick a number. Phone a friend if you want. Pause the video. Pick one, two, three or four. You can have more than one. You can have all three or four of them if you want to. But we'll start off with number one. That's that one. We'll put two, three and four over there. So I don't mix them up. And let's take a look and stay with me till the end for the lucky numbers. And there will be six lucky numbers that have, have been chosen by me with my spirit guides just a few minutes ago before I started filming this and as I said they could change your life forever so it's a general reading of love looking at your love love prospects love present time anything to do with love and romance will you meet somebody new will the one you've met be right for you and um, let's take a look I'll tell you the negatives first and number one if you chose number one you don't have many negatives. You may have seen this rather moody looking gentleman there. That can mean sometimes a bit of depression or that you're a bit fed up at the moment. And it can mean a few tears as well. And tears, as I always say, can mean crying over spilt milk. It doesn't always re mean real tears, but there could be tears ahead. I tend to look at 12 to 14 weeks ahead. So watch out for that. Try not to get too down if you've been a bit down, but it won't last forever anyway. It seems to me that there's a bit of a, a pause going on where you may feel that things are not moving quick enough. And uh, usually they are, but it's a feeling and you get impatient, number one. Especially around your love life, if things are not going as quickly as you would like them to. So maybe the lucky numbers will help with that. So there's not many negatives here. Your stress levels are not bad because most readings... Psychic readings indicate stress these days, which we all seem to be victim of. There may be a lady around you, number one, who is concerned about you. She may be worried about you. It could be a chap, but I think it's a lady. She is worried about you. I can't see any reason why she should be, he or she should be. But there seems to be a lady around you that cares about you and may be concerned without telling you. So think about that, you may know who that is. And it may not be happening yet, it is predicted during the next 12 to 14 weeks. It seems to me that you are guided by a man in spirit. Do you know who that is? Comment below if you would. I love to hear your comments and I try to answer all of them if I can. And um, if there's a man, it could be a lady again, but I think a man, you want one of your main spirit guides, number one, is a man. And that man 
is someone who passed away who could be right there with you right now. They may have even got you to pick number one. Remember, if you pick number one from these hundreds of cards here on this table and you chose these few cards here, there will be messages in here for you somewhere. It won't all resonate with you, some will not at all. So take in what does, ignore what doesn't, but stick around for the lucky numbers. You may have seen the Ace of Wands here. I wonder if you can see that. An ace usually means a new beginning. A wands can mean fertility. It can mean a new job, a new hobby. Of course, it can mean a new lover. And of course, it can mean pregnancy, which is backed up by the empress. And if you look at her, from the major arcana, she actually looks pregnant. So it comes up in lots of readings. People say, well, we get a lot of pregnancies, but lots of people get pregnant. Number one, you have a pregnancy in your reading. Are you pregnant now? Are you trying to be? Because if you are, it's a good time. But it may be someone you know. So you have the Ace of Wands, high fertility, new beginnings, the Empress, which can mean pregnancy and lots of other things. These cards mean growth. They mean things expanding, new beginnings, new jobs, new careers, new hobbies, things taking off for you. So exciting times. But it's not all straightforward. You may have seen the lovers here, again from the major arcana, you can see there's two lovers there. Beautiful card. All the tarot cards are beautiful. The lovers can mean that you're approaching decision time in your love life and it can mean that you have to make some choices and it can mean that you don't really want to make them. So the lovers card can mean that you've got a brand new lover coming. It can mean that you have two lovers and you've got to choose one, or you may love somebody that's not really free or available. The lover's card means that you will have to make choices during the coming weeks, and uh, for most of you, the choices you make will be very, very important, so you need to make the right ones. Watch my other readings, they will help you do that. So you have high fertility, something's not going quickly as you want to love life-wise, but that's going to change, because high fertility will bring that change about. No crying if you can help it. No crying over spilt milk. Don't look at the past and wish you could go back because you can't. A woman is concerned about you and you're highly likely to be close to someone who is pregnant if it's not you. And that will be very soon. At the moment, you're guided by spirit, by a male spirit guide. And I think that you're highly fertile and things are looking good. There may be some money coming your way as well. But it seems to me that you're feeling things are not going quick enough and I'm sure that they will soon but we'll take a look at some oracle cards and see if they back any of this up but generally speaking number one it's a short reading today but this is fantastic there's nothing to fear about this reading nothing scary it looks very positive and I think once you wait you have to once you stop waiting for what it is you're waiting for and there's something I think you'll find that happiness is coming the choices you make about your love life are very important, so make the right ones. If in doubt, do now, that's what I say. Look out for new jobs, new friends, new hobbies, possible pregnancies, growth at work. If you're looking for um, promotion at work, this is the time to apply for it. Because anything to do with work is predicting growth, expansion and really good things. So let's take a look at a few, we'll take a look at four oracle cards. These are these things here. I've got everything cramped up today here, so put them over there. And then I'm going to give you six lucky numbers that could change your life forever. First of all, these have been shuffled. The first card is a water card. And you can see droplets of water on a fast frame photograph. Try saying that after a few beers. A fast frame photograph and this water card says to you, you are more powerful than you realize. It is safe for you to be powerful. Now that can be interpreted in so many ways. It, I think it means with love that you don't have to always be the underdog and you have more say in the matter than, more say in the matter than you think you have. And it tells me that you mustn't let yourself be pushed around 
in a romance that you you shouldn't do all the giving. You're the, you seem maybe some of you, not all of you, but some of you may be the one that's always trying and the other one doesn't seem to commit. If you're not getting commitment, then I suggest you back off a little bit and see what the reaction is. Don't be pushed around. As it says in the card, you have more power than you realise. You have more of a say than you realise, because this is a love reading. Next one is an earth card. That's a field, and I think they are... I think they are sunflowers. I always say they look like something from France. So this one says to you, this earth card, heal the critic in your mind and your body will grow stronger every day. Heal the critic in your mind and your body will grow stronger every day. This tells me that you're criticizing yourself. You may be being hard upon yourself, too hard on yourself, ease off, Give yourself a break and heal the critic in your mind. Don't let it run you down, run yourself down, and you'll heal physically and spiritually. Very important. It sounds simple, but it is important. Don't be hard on yourself, number one. Let's take a look at another one. This one is an air card. Do four of these. Pink, fluffy clouds, like candy floss. In America, I think you call it cotton candy. Of course, this reading will be watched from people from all over the world. And I do thank you for that, as I said. Don't forget to subscribe and stick around for your lucky numbers. This card says each, this is an air card, of course, each thought leaves an echo. Keep your, posit your thoughts positive from now on. These are the ones. Each thought leaves an echo. So whatever you send out to the universe will come back and it will bring karma with it. So if you send bad news out or bad thoughts, you may get bad stuff back. So each thought you have leaves an echo. Keep your thoughts positive. So don't be too hard on yourself. Keep your thoughts positive. One more oracle card that it's looking numbers time. This is an air card again, a circle of clouds. I'm not really sure if that's Photoshop work, could be, but still lovely though. And this card says to you, number one, what you are feeling isn't fear, it's excitement. Embrace it. So if you're feeling a bit anxious about your love life, a bit, a bit fragile about what to say or what to do, it's not fear, it's excitement. Embrace it, enjoy it. Enjoy everything, especially to do with love. There's nothing bad in this reading, number one, and if there was, I'd tell you. It's a good reading. Let's give you some lucky numbers. You may want a pen. And these lucky numbers could make you a millionaire. This time next year, you could be a millionaire. As I said before, you must gamble safely if you gamble with them. You may not want to gamble with them. You could use them for wedding dates, the day you want to get married. You may want to get married on a lucky day or something else. You may want to try for a baby on a lucky day. But there are six numbers. You don't need to use all of them. If you put all six on the lottery and everybody wins, you'll get about a penny each. So mix them up with your own looking numbers. But these, are, these were chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming this afternoon. And your numbers are number one, no, not number one, number six, number eight, 19, 20, 37 and 41. Now they may be familiar. They may be addresses you've lived at, car number plates you've had, check numbers at work that you had, or birthdays and wedding days or divorce days. They may be familiar. So I'll give them you once more. Number six, number eight, 19, 20, 37 and 41. These numbers could change your life. Let me know down, down below if you win the jackpot, if you become a millionaire, put it in the comments. I won't tell anybody, I promise. So I hope you enjoyed that number one. As I said, please uh, subscribe if you'd like to, and please share me with your friends on social media. They may want to hear this. They may want some lucky numbers. And remember number one, as I leave you now, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And of course, I love every single one of you. Take it easy, stay cool, catch you later.
Bye-bye. Hello again, thank you for staying with me. If you chose number two, this one is for you. Let's take a look. This is about love and lucky numbers. So the reading's about your love life. And at the end, I'm gonna give you six lucky numbers that could change your life forever. And I mean change your life forever. These lucky numbers could be very important. So stay with me till the end. And there are six lucky numbers after each of the readings. So you can choose more than one if you want. Once again, thank you to my subscribers. As I said, I'm getting around 5,000 hits a day now on the channel, so I so appreciate it. And if you're a part of our lovely group, I'm so thrilled to have you. And if you're not, please subscribe, click the bell icon, and you'll be notified every time I upload new videos. And please share me with your friends, <coughs> excuse me, on Facebook, etc. Now, let's take a look at this, number two. This is about your love life, so these questions or these answers are around love and there are a few negatives but very few there are you may have seen the tower there i don't know if you can see that from where you are that's a major arcana scary looking card the tower looks like the tower of babel i think it's called don't worry too much about that that means upheaval possible turbulence and it will be linked to your love life it can mean simple things like moving house it doesn't mean the end of the world so don't be frightened of it turbulence will come to you soon and it's coming to change things. So this won't resonate with all of you, of course. If you've chosen number two from these hundreds of cards on the table here, and there are hundreds, there will be a message in here for you somewhere, but it won't all resonate with you. So take in what does, ignore what doesn't, and expect some of you some turbulence, upheaval, your life may be shook up at the roots, and it may be moving house, changing jobs, changing your lover. And you may not like it at first, but at the end of it, you'll look back and think, well, thank goodness for that. So you'll be glad it happened. You may have seen the death card as well. There it is. Another scary looking thing. This card means that you're coming to the end of an era. As simple as that. An ending is coming which means a new beginning. If you're reading a book of your life and the book is in all these chapters, as books are, it means that you're coming to the end of a chapter and it can be sad, number two, but it's very exciting because the end of a chapter means a brand new one. So if things are changing, they can be quite sad, but be excited about it because it means new things coming. It does not mean somebody's about to die. That is usually Hollywood movie stuff if you see a reading and you're face to face with the psychic and it's more intense than aimed at you, of course, and you know that somebody is not very well and they are about to pass away, then you may see the death card, but it's very, very rare. The spirit world does not reveal secrets like that. They're major secrets and that's a major arcana card. And of course, the word arcana means secrets. It seems to me that you've been hurt in the past Picked by the Two of Swords. You can see the Two of Swords, she's got a blindfold on. That means she's ignoring things that she should be dealing with. She's defensive, she's got the barrier up, which is the swords. And it tells me that she, meaning perhaps you, have been hurt in the past and you don't want to be hurt again. So you're being very defensive. That's not a negative card and uh, it's not a negative message but you are defensive and maybe for good reason, you don't want to be hurt again and I don't want you to be hurt again. You may have to see somebody who works in a caring profession, could be a nurse, a district nurse or a doctor. You may be having some blood tests or something or just an injection for this dreaded COVID that we're all hearing about. But you may have to see a person in a caring profession. Once again, it's nothing, I'm not picking up anything bad or serious. Perhaps you're having a baby or soon or trying to. And the last reading had a pregnancy in it. This one's no exception. The page of ones means news. It can mean news about your work. It can mean news about a birth or a pregnancy. It can be all kinds of news. It's coming from someone bright, intelligent, 
and it's good stuff coming your way soon, but it can mean sometimes a baby. Sometimes it can mean twins. So you need to drop the blindfold. In other words, stop ignoring things if you are, as is depicted by the two of swords. The swords, of course, would be the spades in an ordinary deck of cards. The death card means an ending, the end of an era, and it's exciting as new things are coming. And it appears to me that you're quite psychic. And you can see the seven of cups there. A conjurer, a magician. He's got everything under control. This depicts magic, psychic stuff. Things going on that could be magical, exciting, mystical, mystical dreams, magical dreams, psychic dreams. It seems he can grab anything he wants, a rabbit out of the hat or anything he wants. This tells me that you're quite psychic and things are picking up, especially spiritually. If you're into this kind of thing, expect it to pick up, expect it to get stronger. There's a lady around you, the Queen of Cups. I think she's beautiful. I could be picking up you, number two. Beauty, graceful, feminine if you're a lady, feminine if you're a man, but... Femininity is depicted by that card. Beauty, peace, tranquility are all yours. As far as your love goes, it can be the end of an era. The card reading is not overflowing with love, although this one can, of course, mean that. So, if anything, I think your defences need to come down. It's looking to me, number two, that you may be coming to the end of a love life. Not all of you, as I keep saying. And to me, it means a brand new lover is coming. So if you're ready for that, there's so many cards here meaning new beginnings, and it can mean a new lover. It can also mean a new job, a new beginning, a new house, a new place to live. This reading is a reading of change. So there's nothing scary about it, but it may be that your love life has gone a bit stale or a bit flat and you've been hurt and there may have been some tears and you don't want them anymore. So don't get too defensive. If love appears, true love appears, allow it in. But please don't look for it on the internet or on dating agencies because you'll spoil it if you do. If the spirit world are planning a new lover for you, let them do it. You could meet them down the village post office, you could meet them in the pub, or just walking the dog in the countryside. But if you meet them on the internet or a dating site, you may miss the one you're meant to meet. So be careful with that. It's not always a no, but I don't advise it usually because you may miss the lover you're supposed to meet. That the spirit world are planning for you. So let me know in the comments below. I do want, I do answer your comments if I get a chance and I do love to hear them. And um, stick around for your lucky numbers and they could change your life. At the moment, I'm going to look at some oracle cards for you and that to me that is a spiritual reading so it tells me number two that some of you are quite psychic let me know in the comments below we'll take a look at four oracle cards and then i'm going to give you six numbers lucky numbers chosen by me with my spirit guides just before this well before we started filming this afternoon so the first card here before we do them is an air card so look these have all been shuffled by the way some birds flying, looks like they're coming out of the grass, or are they going into it, maybe? Nice. This card, once you acknowledge, this is what it says to you, number two, once you acknowledge your self-worth, your confidence will soar. Now, that goes with everything I've told you, because it looks as though, to me, number two, that your confidence has taken a knock. And you're not as self-confident as you ought to be or as, or as you used to be. So you need to think about that. Remember your self-worth. Remember that you're special. Remember that you're beautiful inside and out. And believe it. It's no good saying it. You need to believe it. As they say, you need to love yourself. So don't be hard on yourself. One more, it says, acknowledge your self-worth and your self-confidence will soar. Let's take a look at another one. That's a water card this time. <clears throat> a lovely photograph. You may not be able to catch that if you're on a tiny iPhone or something. Lovely picture. This one says to you, number two, you're in touch with your truth. 
Trust your gut and lovingly assert yourself. So assert yourself, do it lovingly, peacefully. You're in touch with your inner side, your truth, what you feel inside. If you've been let down or hurt in a love affair, you've probably had a lot of time to think it over. And you can move into your next love affair, if you want one, with confidence and allow it to happen when it's meant to happen. And you can look at my other readings or pick a different deck and you may find out more about that. There's over 100, 120 odd readings I've done on the internet now, so there's plenty there for you to choose from. And they're all timeless, so it doesn't matter when you find this reading today, you could find it in five years time. It's a pick a card reading and it will apply from when you find it. You'll find this reading when you're meant to find it, when your spirit guides want you to find it. Let's take a look at this fire card. Somebody burning a flower. I don't know how they've done that one. Very, very clever. This one says, there's news, there's news of, excite, of an exciting new endeavor. Use your ingenuity. News of an exciting new endeavor. Use your ingenuity. You're taking on new things. New things are coming. It's exciting, as I mentioned with the main reading. Exciting times are coming, especially if you're a bit spiritual or psychic or even a medium like me. So expect exciting things come to come. Use your ingenuity, use your intelligence, and go with it, and enjoy it. Don't be sad. One more oracle card, then lucky numbers. This is a fire card, a picture of a fire, bonfire. This one says to you, surround yourself with positive people and situations, and avoid negativity. So. Hang out, as they say, the kids say, hang out with positive people. Be positive, have positive thoughts. Be positive in yourself. Confidence, remember I said that? Your confidence in yourself needs to come back. It's only that far away, so bring it back. Believe in yourself. Surround yourself with positive people. They will give you positive energy. Don't knock about with people who are negative because they will bring you down if you can help it. You may work with them, so you can't always avoid it. But surround yourself with positive people and situations and avoid negativity, number two. Let's take a look at your lucky numbers. These numbers can change your life forever. This time next year, you could be rich. Now, you don't have to use all six of these. You can just use a couple of them and mix them with your own lucky numbers, your own birthdays and things you like. If you use all six numbers and win the lottery and everyone does the same, you won't get very much, a couple of pence each. So you may want to write these down and um, you can use them for raffles, casinos, that sort of thing. As I keep saying, if you gamble with these numbers, you must do it responsibly. Don't get into trouble or get yourself into trouble. Just be careful. The numbers are number four, 11, 23, 28, 33, and 43. Now they may ring a bell. Some of them may be numbers you associate with weddings or birthdays or divorce days or house numbers you lived at. I'll give you one more time. 4, 11, 23, 28, 33, and 43. These numbers could change your life forever. Let me know in the comments if you win the jackpot, if you become a millionaire. I promise I won't tell anyone. Remember to comment, subscribe, click the bell icon, but please, most importantly, share me with your friends on social media because they may want to have some lucky numbers too. And it's been lovely talking to you. I'll get ready for number three now. So remember number two, wherever you are in this world, think lucky and you will be lucky. Think love, and you'll be loved. And I love every single one of you. Take it easy. Stay cool. Catch you later. Bye-bye.
Hello, thank you for staying with me. My name is David Charles, as I mentioned, international psychic medium coming to you from North Devon in the UK, and I'm doing for you a timeless reading, which means you can find this reading today or 10 years from today, it makes no difference. You'll find this reading when you were meant to find it, when your spirit guides want you to find it. And if you chose number three, this one is for you. And this is called Love and Lucky Numbers, which means we're going to do love reading first, which whatever questions you have about your love, love life, <coughs> excuse me, should be included here. The answers should be included here. This reading won't resonate with everybody, so take in what does and ignore what doesn't. Because if you've chosen number three and you've picked these few cards here from these hundreds, and there are hundreds here, then there will be meanings in here for you somewhere. It may not all resonate with you, so take in what does. Leave out what doesn't. You can watch my other videos. There's well over 125 of them, I think. And uh, you can pick a different number today. But stay with me for your lucky numbers at the end because they could change your life forever. These are magic numbers chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming today in beautiful North Devon. So, let me see what we can do. A timeless reading. And let me tell you the negatives first. Well, you may have seen the Ten of Swords here. If you can see, if you're on a tiny little phone, you may not be able to, but there's a bit of backstabbing going on. You can see that depicted by that card. This can be from people at work, people in your social circle, people you think are friendly and may not be behind your back. As I always say, don't worry about it. Don't get paranoid about it. But if you're not certain of people, then certainly don't tell them all your business or your secrets. As far as your love life goes, I'm going to tell you the negatives first. And it seems to me that you've picked, well, you picked the chariot. You can see there the chariot and the two pharaohs or whatever they are, not horses, are they? Pulling the chariot are seeming to pull in different directions. From the major arcana, the chariot can mean that you're going two ways, which can mean two lovers or two lovers to choose from or that you're trying to be in two places at once, or some of you trying to be in ten places at once. So as the yin and yang is linked to this card, the yin and yang are the energies that flow through us, positive and negative, like if you put a plug on an electrical appliance. If these energies are out of balance, you can feel torn, that you're trying to be in ten places at once, or that everybody wants a piece of you. Maybe you're seeing someone who's married, or maybe you're married and you're seeing someone outside of your marriage. I hope you're not, but you may be. But um, whatever it is, it means to me that as far as your love guy life goes, number two, three, number three, some of you may be feeling torn and pulled in different directions and you can't be in two places at once. So they're your negatives and that really is all the negatives because most of it's quite positive. You've got the uh, Knight of Wands here. He may be linked to your career. Wands usually mean earthly things. This usually depicts a man who is all over the place. Could be a woman, but usually a man. Never keeps still, always on the go, irritating, successful, but his biggest negative is that he is a womanizer. He's flirtatious. If you fall in love with him, be very careful because you can't trust him with the girls. And if it's a lady, it's possible that you can't trust her with the men. But it's usually depicting a man, and I think number three, you may know who that is, some of you. Not all of you, but some of you. So, I better tell you the positives. First of all, there's money in this reading. You've got the Ace of Pentacles here. Not very good with overhead cameras, so I tend to hold them up and show them to you. The Ace of Pentacles is a picture of a coin in a hand, and that means money. Of course, in an ordinary deck of cards, that would be the Ace of Diamonds often used in songs, isn't it, about money and gambling and that. And the Ace of Diamonds means new beginnings, as all Aces do. So things are starting out new, probably not to do with your love life, but to do with money, finances, and it could be linked to the lucky numbers I'm going to give you soon, so stick around. Then you have the Four of Pentacles, or the Four of Diamonds. You can see the man there with the Four of Pentacles, he's clutching them tightly, he's sitting on them, and it means... Sit on it. If money comes to you, number three, sit on it. Put it somewhere safe. 
Don't let it in one hand and out the other. As the funds used to say, sit on it. So you need to sit on this money, keep it safe, because it's going to come in handy later, and you'll wish you'd kept it if you don't. That's about money, but new beginnings in aces, aces mean new beginnings, that can mean new lovers, new jobs, new hobbies, new anything, all sorts of things changing, very positive, very exciting. And then you have this one, more pentacles all over the place. Ten of pentacles means richness. Now, richness, of course, doesn't always mean money, although it can, with my lucky numbers. Richness means richness in here, in your heart. As I say so often in these readings, you have to ask yourself, number three, what would make you feel rich? This is one of the best readings I've seen for a while, by the way. What would make you feel rich? Is it love? Is it cash? Is it a yacht, a Lamborghini? It's usually in here. Health is one thing, contentment, but richness for you is predicted with that lovely card, as I showed you, the Ten of Pentacles, and richness should be yours soon, as long as you don't blow it or do something, something daft. So as long as you keep away from backstabbers and sort out your yin and yang, if your yin and yang's out of balance, it's caused by stress. And it's the first reading today that's come up with lots of stress. The others have been okay for that. So get your stress levels down, relax, do whatever you do to relax and do it soon and pamper yourself. Get in your jacuzzi or a hot tub or something, go to a spa for the weekend, do something nice and get your levels of stress down. Don't mix with a man who's a womanizer and then you may have spotted this one. The Wheel of Fortune, and it's the right way up, because the, the right way up, I don't read upside down cards anyway, but the Wheel of Fortune means the Wheel of Fortune for number three, that's you, is, is changing. That's the right way up, sorry. And the Wheel of Fortune is coming your way. And this tells me, number three, that for lots of you, you're heading for a very, very lucky period. And good luck is coming. As with all readings, when good luck is predicted by the spirit world, it's not automatic. It comes in the form of offers and opportunities. It means you've got to take a chance. Be a bit risky. Don't be daft and foolish. But if something nice and new comes along and you think it's right, you're going to think, I'm going to have a go at this. And that could change your fortunes dramatically for the better. You heard it here first. The UK's leading psychic, David Charles, and the most modest, your luck is changing, number three, for lots of you. So stick around for the lucky numbers. They could change your life this time next year. You could be a millionaire. You may have seen the magician here. Yet another positive card. Wonderful card from the Major Arcana. The magician is capable of anything. This could be you, number three. The magician could do anything and be good at it. He seems to have the Midas touch. He's laid back. He's calm. He's relaxed. If he had a new job on Monday, he would be good at it. He would succeed. If he applies for promotion, he'll get it. Whatever you give this man to do, he'll do it. And it, of course, sometimes it can be a lady. You don't get gender usually in readings, but it tends to be a man, the magician. Am I picking up you, number three? Let me know in the comments below. Is it someone you know? Is it your brother? Is it your husband? Is he your lover? Whoever he is, he's got charisma. People like being around him. They like him. Not so much with that one, of course, who's a womanizer. But um, you've got some good stuff. Richness, money, two lots of money predicted. Keep away from backstabbing. Your luck is changing. All you have to do, number three, is chill out. Lower your stress levels. Stop worrying. Enjoy your sleeping time. Don't lie awake worrying about things because that will stop you sleeping. So now... Before your lucky numbers, I'm going to look at four oracle cards for you. These are the cards here being shuffled, and these will have messages for you. Let's see if it backs up what I've told you. The first one is a fire card. Looks like the moon over the sea. Thank heavens for Photoshop, maybe. This one says to you, number three, you are embarking on a road that brings you joy and abundance. Now that's been shuffled, so there's no way I knew that was there. You are embarking on a road that brings you joy 
and abundance. That backs up everything that this reading shows. This is one of the best readings I've seen for quite a few weeks. Quite a while. So remember, you're embarking on a road that brings you the joy and abundance. Don't blow it, for goodness sake. Let's try another one. Do four of these. This one is a water sign, a water card. And it's the same as the cover on the deck. And she's on that card as well. And let me tell you what she says to you. She says to you, things not turning out how you'd hoped. Try to see the positives in the situation. So don't be pessimistic. See the positives, especially with this reading, number three. I hope it applies to you. It won't apply to all of you. But please let me know in the comments. Please subscribe. Most importantly of all, please share me with your friends because that helps the channel grow and they may want the reading as well. Facebook and all that stuff. So this one says, things not turning out as you'd hoped. That's a question. Try to see the positives in the situation. So don't look at negatives. See the positives. Let's do another one. This is a fire card. The moon again. Nice photograph. Lovely photograph. This one says to you, number three, pay attention to your ideas as they are messages of the divine. So your ideas, number three, looks like some of them are spiritual messages, spiritual messages from your spirit guides. You may have been feeling quite spiritual and psychic lately. Let me know in the comments. I'll try to answer them all. Pay attention to your ideas as they are meanings, sorry, they're messages of the divine. You're getting messages. Watch out for your dreams. Keep a note of dreams, especially if they're repetitive, because they will be coming from the spirit. And that's what this card is telling you. Let's do one more, another fire card, and a picture of a fire. Looks like a lovely camping night out under the stars, how beautiful. Better being stuck in an office, isn't it? Events are happening at a fast pace. Many things will happen at once. So get ready for this lot, number three, because it could happen pre pretty quickly. I always try to look at 12 to 14 weeks ahead. So this is a timeless reading, as I said. You could find it next week, tomorrow, today, or 10 years from now. It makes no difference. You'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. Let's read this to you again. Events are happening at a fast pace. Many things will happen at once. So, number three, get ready. I think things are changing for the better, and they're changing soon. And you need your lucky numbers. So, you may want a pen. Now, as I always say, the six lucky numbers, you don't need to use all six because you may want to mix them with your own lucky numbers. Just use two or three of them. As I keep saying, if everybody uses all six and you all win the lottery, you'll get about a penny each. So that's not going to work. So use which ones you like. Mix them with your own. You can use all six if you want to. But there are six lucky numbers. If you're going to gamble with them, you must do it responsibly. Don't get yourself in a mess or into trouble. So... Your lucky numbers, number three, are number three, coincidentally, chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming. Number three, number 12, 18, 31, 37, and 46. Do they ring a bell? Are they m m uh, birthday numbers, wedding numbers? Divorce numbers, house addresses you've lived at, car number plates, they may be familiar. I'm giving you one more time. Number three, number 12, 18, 31, 37, and 46. I hope I've got that right. I think I have. So, let me know if they mean something to you in the comments. Let me know in the comments if you win the jackpot. If you become a millionaire, I won't tell a soul. Stick it down there in the comments. Let me know. And it's been so lovely talking to you. And this is really a very, very positive reading. Give it a like if you like it and share me with your friends. And remember, number three, think lucky and you'll be lucky. Think love and you will be loved. And I love every single one of you. Take it easy. Stay cool. Catch you later. Bye-bye.
Hello again. Thank you for staying with me. Today I'm doing a reading for you entitled Love and Lucky Numbers. And this reading is timeless, which means you can find it today, next year, or 10 years from now, you'll find this reading when your spirit guides want you to find it. And if you found it today and you chose number four, this one is for you. And you chose number four from these hundreds of cards, hundreds here. So there will be messages in here for you somewhere, number four. It won't all resonate with you. So take in what does, ignore what doesn't. And um, don't forget to stay with me for your lucky numbers. I'm going to give you six lucky numbers at the end of this that could change your life forever. And I mean change your life forever. Lucky numbers chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming this afternoon. So let's take a look at the negatives. This is about your love life. Any questions you have about your love life, think about them now, concentrate on them, and you may find the answers here in this reading for you. Ignore what doesn't re resonate, as I said, and take in what does, or pick a different number. Or go to one of my other readings. I've got well over 120 psychic readings on YouTube now, and I'm getting over 5,000 hits every single day. So thank you so much for all, all my subscribers. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider joining us and subscribe below and click the bell icon, and you'll be notified by YouTube every time I upload a new reading, which is usually about once a week, COVID permitting. So let me tell you your negatives as far as love life goes. And for the first time, in these four readings, you have some stress issues, often depicted by the Hermit. You can see that, possibly. The Hermit from the Major Arcana. Arcana, of course, means secrets, major secrets. The Hermit often indicates stress, especially when you're talking about love matters. So you may be having some stress issues, number four, around your love life. Let me know in the comments below. It's not a negative reading. You've got another card here. You can see them paddling. If you look at the boat there, it's got calm water one side and a bit rough the other side. They're calming, they're going into calmer water. So it means that your stress levels are actually going down, which is good. But at the moment you may have found it, you've had a stressful time as far as romance goes and probably everything else around you as well. So your stress levels are going down. These are your negatives. Now, having said negatives, this one looks negative because it's the judgment card, again, from the major arcana. You see that? People coming out of graves like the walking dead. Scary looking card. Judgment. Judgment day is coming. It doesn't mean bad things. It means that you're going to get, number four, exactly what you deserve. So if you've been naughty, you're going to pay. If you've been good, then rewards are coming. And as far as I can see by this reading, you've been good. So rewards are coming. But of course, karma will come to those who've been bad to you. So if someone's hurt you in the past, deliberately, not accidentally, if someone's hurt you in the past knowingly, then they will pay for it during the next coming weeks. I always look about 12 to 14 weeks ahead. So anyone that's hurt you is going to get it. And most psychics, which is... People like that believe that karma is threefold, so they get it three times over. You may not find out about it, but trust me, it will happen. Nobody, nobody escapes karma. It's not negotiable. We all get it, me included. So karma is coming your way, number four. And I think your karma is excellent because your reading is good. Let me tell you some positives. You're guided by a lady in spirit. You'll have lots of spirit guides, but the high priestess, there she is. From the major arcana can you see her if you're on a little tiny phone you may not be able to but the major arcana high priestess is a woman of beauty balance spirituality and all of the lovely things that go with it she was once thought to be the female pope many years ago the popess they called her and now she is in the tarot which started off as a card game don't ever forget that they use as oracle cards nowadays, and uh, the origins of these cards are divided opinion, but I believe they came from Italy, and that they are very, very special. But they're not things to be frightened of. Tarot cards are filled with biblical images, and they're filled with love. And the High Priestess tells me that you've got spirit guides around you, number four, particularly a lady in spirit who looks after you, 
and she's probably with you at this very moment to talk to her. Now, you've got some good stuff here. You've also got the star card. Again, if you look at the card, the star from the major arcana, often think about the star of Bethlehem. Some people, some people may not like that, of course. She's got one foot on the land and one foot in the water. So she's balanced between earth, wind, fire and water. The star card means, well, it means lots of things. I can't go into them all now, but it means psychic activity all around you, number four. So this is looking very good because even if you're having a bad time, spirituality around you will make that better for you because your spirit guides are watching out for you. There's probably around you because... They're always around you, but they're around you tonight in force because I think you may have had a tough time recently, some of you. And they're there to look after you. They're there to love you and they're there to guide you. That's why they're called guides. Let me tell you a positive. Somewhere around you is the King of Pentacles. This depicts a man, usually a businessman, can be a woman, successful, smart, with success written all over him like a tattoo. Success. An entrepreneur, a businessman, someone really successful. Am I picking up you, number four? Let me know in the comments. It could be a lady, as I said. This person has the Midas touch. He's good at making money, cash. At the same time, he's really not a greedy person. He's not really materialistic. So he often makes cash and money, and he can give other people jobs. So... He creates work for other people sometimes, not all the time, but it's certainly a man who's successful. When he's working, he works dressed smart, like suits. When he's not working, he wears very casual stuff, but he's clean, he's smart, he's charismatic. And do you know him? Please tell me in the comments below, down there. I'll try and answer all my comments if I get chance. Now then, it gets interesting because number four, you can see the Four of Cups there. Somebody relaxing by a tree with his eyes closed and they're being offered their the hand is offering him a cup. And the cups in the tarot deck are the hearts in an ordinary deck of cards. So the cups mean love, like you see on a Valentine card, a heart. Somebody is offering this person love and he's not seeing it. You see, he's not getting it because his eyes are closed. This usually means, number four, that you have an admirer that you're not really aware of. A secret admirer is coming. You may already know, if not, during the next 12 to 14 weeks, somebody has got a bit of a crush on you. They fancy you. They want to get closer to you. They may want to love you eventually. And if you open your eyes and look around, you may know who this is. Think of the man or the boy, a chap leaning against a tree, not taking much in really, and uh, you'll see. Now, you also have the Two of Cups, now the Two of Hearts. You can see a couple joining together. This can mean that you're joining together with someone, and you may know about it, and you're, it can be marriage, it can be people moving in together, into a house together and being very lovey and close and, and happy. But it can also mean that you have a friend and that's all he or she is, just a friend. But one day you look at each other and you realize that you're falling in love or you've fallen in love. So love can come from the most unexpected areas and it's wonderful. And it is, of course, the strongest force in the universe. Nothing will beat love, nothing. Nothing, there's nothing to beat it. So, love in two forms there, psychic activity, the star card, meaning psychic stuff. Your stress levels are going down, you're going to karma times, you've got some karma coming, you've got an admirer. This admirer may be frightened to tell you. He or she may think, well, I've got no chance, so they're not going to tell you. So work out who it is, let me know in the comments, I love a bit of lovey-dovey stuff down there in the comments, and I'll try and answer all of them, I always do. And let's take a look now at four oracle cards and see if they back up what I've told you. They've all been shuffled, so I don't know what's coming any more than you do. The first one is an earth card, 
And then we do the lucky numbers, and lucky numbers could change your look, so don't go without them. They're called lucky numbers, they were chosen by me with my spirit guides just before we started filming today. So this one here is Blossom, which is lovely, springtime, an earth card, lovely photograph. It's saying to you, number four, the harder you climb, the better the view at the end. Your reward is coming. The harder you climb, the better the view at the end. Your reward is coming. That's telling me you've had it tough. You've had to work hard at your love life, possibly in your work life as well, but you've worked hard at your love life. Rewards are coming. The harder it is, they're saying to you, the more worthwhile it is really. So don't give up now. Keep fighting for the love. Next one's another earth card. It's like an avenue of trees, a tunnel of trees. Possibly a photograph that's been messed about with <laughs> by somebody, but they made a nice job of it. This one says to you, number four, the solution to your problem is forgiveness. Allow it to happen. So if someone's been bad to you, you may want to forgive them, but it often means to me, number four, that you need to forgive yourself. So if you've done something you don't like, it's time to let it go, you can't change it, and time to forgive yourself, or possibly someone that's done you down, maybe a member of the family or your lover, you may need to forgive him or her. Forgiveness, I'll read it to you again, the solution to your problem is forgiveness, allow it to happen. This one's an air card. Oh, oh, this frightens me, that one. It's a boat on a lake and it's misted over. And I'm glad I'm not on that boat. <laughs> but uh, very interesting card. This one says to you, number four, it's safe for you to stop comparing yourself to other people. It is safe for you to stop comparing yourself to other people. That means to me, number four, that you're as good as anyone. And you must remember that. Don't be put down by people who show off on Facebook and they look as though they've got everything and you've got nothing, because it's not true. They have plenty of time to sit and think what they can type. And they can type some things that can be sometimes a bit naughty and it makes your self-confidence go down, so don't let it. So it says here again, it is safe for you to stop comparing yourself to others. And if people keep doing that on Facebook and making you feel lower than them, click the delete button. One more time, Earth card again. It's like the moon or the Earth, another Earth hovering in the sky. Clever photograph. This one says to you, before your lucky numbers, this isn't what you expected to happen, but mm, this isn't what you expected to happen, but trust that it's part of the plan. It's telling me, number four, that the spirit world have a great plan for you. If you're going through a tough time, it's not what you expected, but it's part of the plan. Everything in this world, they say, happens for a reason. That's why you picked me today, UK's leading psychic and the most modest. And thank you for doing that. So, let's just sum it up. Psychic activity, you've got a spirit guide around you, possibly right now. Getting closer to someone who could be just a friend to start with. You have somebody who has a crush on you. They've got the hots for you, as the kids say. You've got psychic activity all around. Your stress levels are too high. You need to sort that out. But it looks to me as though your stress levels will go down soon. So let's give you six lucky numbers. Now, these lucky numbers can be used for choosing the, the day you want to get married. They're not always about gambling. And they could be a date you want to move house, a lucky date. So the numbers are interesting. There'll be six of them. You don't have to use all six. If you all gamble with the same six numbers and you all win, you'll get nothing. So use two or three of them and mix them with your own lucky numbers. But you can use all six if you want to. And you can look at the other decks as well. So don't forget to subscribe. And here comes your lucky numbers. You may need a pen. And your first lucky number, number four, is not number four. It is number two. Number 12. 28. 38. 40 and 49. These numbers may ring a bell. Could be addresses you've lived at, car number plates, work numbers, check numbers. They may be your birthdays or wedding dates or divorce dates. 
<laughs> so I'll give them you one more time. Number two, 12, 28, 38, 40, and 49. Got that right? Yeah, I need to be back for that. Numbers chosen by me with my spirit guides, just for you, number four, before we started this filming today. These numbers could change your life. This time next year, you could be a millionaire. Let me know in the comments below. I promise I won't tell a soul. Thank you, number four, for joining me. Thank you all for joining me. And it's been a pleasure talking to you. Please share me with your friends on Facebook and social media. And remember, number four, wherever you are in this beautiful world, think lucky. And you will be lucky. Think love and you'll be loved. And I love every single one of you. Take it easy, stay cool, catch you later, bye bye.